everyone, welcome back. I've got a bigger box, silicon carbide, also known as carborundum. Silicon carbide is a more common name used. Moissanite is also the gemstone name. It's heavy. I'm guessing this is some sort of mineral or maybe something that uses silicon carbide, maybe like an auto part or something. So let's jump in and see what we got. Ready? Whoa, that's actually really cool. This is not what I expected. This must be a specimen of silicon carbide. It's super heavy, really sharp and pointy. It kind of looks like metallic. Super dark, it's like black, but then you see flashes of like yellow, orange, purple, blue, green. I am just mesmerized by all the color on this. I almost am speechless for the first time in my life. I don't really know what to say. I would suspect that would be like iridescent. Some phenomenon like, a, you know, what you see in opals or pearls, it's the way the light hits and, and interacts with the layers of the material. Is it natural? I think it is natural. Pretty cool, huh? It looks like really sharp right here, so I don't want to touch that. Kind of ja a lot of jagged edges, very sharp, very delicate. It's cool to run your fingers over. A few pieces that are breaking off. You can see some pieces right here. They're very thin. They almost look like um, pages in a book, like you could just pull them right off. Despite all of that, silicone carbide has been used in some pretty important industrial projects. My favorite thing about gemstones is when you have a stone that's not meant to be pretty or a material that's not just meant to be pretty, but it actually has a functional use, silicon carbide is one of those. Silicon carbide has actually been used since the 19th century. It was used for uh, sanding paper, cutting tools, and grind wheels. Industrial use like this, it's for auto parts, abrasives, and dragon skin. And am I talking about some fantasy novel? No. It's a type of armor that the the US military had developed for it. This wasn't adopted widely, but it has been used by the SWAT, CIA, and some Secret Service agents. The reason it wasn't adopted widely was because it's extremely heavy. A dragon skin vest can weigh 47 and a half pounds. I don't know about you, but I don't want to be running in the field with that. Another really cool use for silicon carbide today is as a mirror in space technology. Silicon carbide was actually discovered in 1891 by an American scientist when he was trying to make synthetic diamond. Just two years later, in 1893, Ferdinand Moisen actually discovered moissanite in a desert in Arizona when he was looking at a meteorite. How weird is it that just two years after they made it in the lab, we discovered it in Arizona on a meteorite? From outer space. Can you wrap your mind around that? And now, about 100 years later, we're sending it back to outer space as mirrors in a space telescope. Pretty cool, huh? <laughs> We actually have a few other forms that you can find silicon carbide in. Here I have synthetic moissanite, big, beautiful stone, nice and sparkly. What's so great about synthetic moissanite is that it's actually a diamond substitute. It's nearly just as hard, but it has the same amount of life to it, if not more than a diamond. And it's pretty popular for use in bridal jewelry and anything that you can think of now. Let's take a closer look at silicon carbide. Make sure you notice the different colors and crystal structures. so cool. What I love most about silicone carbide and moissanite is that there's not just one use, there's so many ballistic vests, mirrors and space telescopes, cool, beautiful, diamond-like stones. That's why it's one of my favorite gemstone materials. It's time for me to track down a meteorite to try to find some more moissanite. It's time for you to like and subscribe to our channel so you don't miss the next episode.